Hey guys, so I've got another tutorial today and this is going to be about what people have been asking for a long while and it's going to be ladder climbing. Now, this isn't going to be the very best way of doing it because there's a lot more complicated ways that you can do it. But this needs a bit of experimentation from you guys in what you want it to do and how you want it to work. Because this is very dependent on what height that you have you um, want to actually move up in your ladder. And I've actually written a script that does it basically, it's very simple, but you may need to... Um, adjust the speed at which you can climb when we set these settings so this is just going to be an example of it working in unity so I'll press play and you can see it and then I'll go on to actually tell you how to make this work Okay, so I'm going to show you how to actually do this now. So I've only got a few basic bits in my scene. So I've got my first person controller as normal and my test scene. And now I've got um, some ladder objects which are just organized with a empty game object. Now for my actual ladder objects, I've got just a platform which is just, you know, so we can get up to and stand on. Um, we've got a ladder object that I just quickly made in 3ds Max. And that's you know nothing crazy just imported that in I've got a collider which is behind um, this sort of square back section which means that we can't go through it because we need to set this actual object as is trigger so we can actually you know detect the collision but when we set it to his trigger we can walk through it so I made what I did is made another box got rid of the mesh render and just made sure it was slightly in front of the box just so we could not walk through it then my last object is the ladder trigger and my ladder trigger is just this square that you see behind it and the box collider's got um, it's is trigger ticked like I said and the collider's bigger, slightly bigger than the um, ladder so you know the first person controller fits in it and then it's going to be higher than the thing so I've got you know set to about 4 in the Y and 3.4 in the Z axis this is just so that when we step into it you know it'll activate the ladder like we want to do now um all we need now is to write a little script and we'll call this we'll call this ladder climb and then when a ladder climbs open we'll delete these two functions and start off by writing a variable called ch controller for the actual character controller itself set that as type transform with a semicolon then we'll write another variable um, and call that inside and set that as boolean equal to false then I'll set another variable called height factor and set that as type float equal to now this is very dependent on how you see fit for your um, game but I'll show you this as I go through but just leave it at whatever 3 for now and see how it works for you and then I'll write a private variable fps input as type fps input controller and then I'll start by writing function start with two brackets add two curly brackets below and say the FPS input is equal to get component open brackets FPS input controller close that up put a semicolon now we're gonna write a function on trigger enter open up the brackets right call colon collider close that up add two curly brackets below and say that if call dot game object dot tag is equal to and then we'll ha create a tag called ladder then below there we'll add two curly brackets and say that fps input dot enabled is equal to false then we'll say inside is equal to exclamation mark inside with a semicolon. So what this means is that when we go inside a collider called ladder, which we'll set in a minute, then the FPS input controller, which lets us move side to side, up and down, wherever we want, will be disabled. So we can't move anywhere other than um, somewhere else. And then inside, which is our boolean, will be set to exactly opposite of what it is. So if it's equal to false, it then I set it, set it to true and we're going to reference that in a minute now what we'll do is copy this same function and paste in below 
but change this to on trigger exit keep it all the same except we'll set uh, fps um, input dot enabled equals true now so if we go outside of the collider we'll then be able to um, you know again remain control take control back of the character controller now we're going to do one last function which isn't going to be very long I'm going to say function update two brackets then two curly brackets below and then say that if inside is equal to true and and input.get key open brackets in quotes we can say w or whatever you want to set to climb a ladder then below there we'll add two curly brackets and say that ch controller there dot transform dot position plus equals vector three dot up divided by the height factor with a semicolon now we'll save that out and go back into unity so when we've got that we'll add it to our first person controller so if we add ladder climb you'll notice that we need to add a character controller to the inspector so we'll add the first person controller there and we've got the height factor which we can adjust accordingly now what you need to make sure that you do is on your ladder trigger that you had an is trigger set you need to make sure you add another tag called ladder and you can add a tag there so just make sure that it's tagged ladder so when I play the game you want to watch the FPS controller at this side and this um, inside boolean so it'll, when we go inside you'll notice that FPS controller is um, you know disabled so if I'm pressing um, A and D I won't be able to move anywhere unless I press W to go up so I'll show you what the height factor does say I set it to a lower amount which is closer to the actual vector up just by itself it means that we can go higher but also when we go higher it makes us you know increase speed by quite a bit so I suppose it's really dependent on what height your um, platform is or your, ne your ladder needs to go so you'd maybe need to find a way to stop the game I mean stop moving so quickly in that direction maybe decreasing the magnitude now if we set it to something like 5 you'll notice then I want to walk into a ladder I won't be able to go very far because it's decreased it so much but as I say, for my scene, I've set it to 3.2 and it's about the right amount to just go up the ladder, not go too high and not go crazily fast um, all the way up. So really, what you just want to be careful is, is you know, you set this amount and you'll notice that it'll, you can go up and down. It'll go up and down for you. And just like you'd expect on a ladder. Now, as I say, not the most effective way of doing it. But it's just a simple way to maybe make people understand of how you could possibly make your um, ladder work. So I'll quickly go through it again. Is that I'm referencing the FPS controller which is on our first person controller. And I'm only using get component because we're actually putting it on the controller itself. So it doesn't need to find the game object. So when we enter the um, collider we'll set the FPS input controller to false so we can't move then we'll change the boolean accordingly then if we exit we'll re-enable it so we can run around and then if the inside is ever equal to true which is in um, one of these cases when we can't move and then we press W and the character con um, controller will transform its position equal to what vector 3 up is and it just changes the y direction and then we're dividing it by a, a height factor so we can't go as high up so that's pretty much the basics and thanks for watching if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers